All right, hey guys, we're at Morton Island, just off Brisbane for the staff day at Sun Reef. As you can see, whale one is just behind me. We did try and swim against to get back to it after diving the wrecks, but unfortunately the current was too strong. So we've got the walk of shame back along the beach, drop above the boat, pull the drift back. But let's jump in guys, show you the trip out, staff day trip out with Sun Reef at Morton Island diving the Tawonga wrecks. Let's go. Welcome to the Tangaluma wrecks of Morton Island. Now, as you can see, the current is flowing. You can see those particles coming flying past the wreck. As me and Holly were taken a little bit back by how strong the current was. We knew when the tide was running, the currents could be flowing. I wasn't expecting it to be moving this quickly, but between the wrecks and the islands, it is flowing pretty fast during the tide change. And as you can see, the particles are coming from every direction, especially when we're moving around the stern of one of the wrecks. We're only about 10 meters coming under this wreck, and that's about the deepest you get here. And you can see Holly here, she's saying, the current is going that way, that way, that way. My mind's blowing. It was funny because when we were on the side close to the island, the current was flowing in one direction. But when you're on the other side, it was flowing in the opposite direction. This is just because of the positioning of the wrecks. The wrecks are in different angles, which causes the water movement to move in different directions. But what was really cool was the marine life kicking around. Now it is shallow, but you have so much life. Here we have a three bar porcupine fish. But you look up onto the rails of these wrecks and there's life everywhere. Sergeant majors, butter bream, brasses, so much life and what's really nice to see is the coral is slowly starting to take over the wreck. The ocean is reclaiming these wrecks. Now, a bit about the history of these wrecks. There's 15 of them in total and they were actually sunk between the 1960s and 1980s. Five roughly every decade. And why they sunk them? was because they were trying to make a safe harbour, a natural barrier almost, or artificial barrier shall I say, to create some shelter for recreational boat users and jet skiers. This is on the east side of Morton Island. But because it's so shallow, it's very popular with free divers, snorkelers, scuba divers, also kayakers and sub users as well. But you have to be careful, especially when you're swimming across when the tides are running because you can have very strong currents, plus a lot of inexperienced boat users are in the area as well. So you just got to keep your wits around. But as a dive, it was pretty good fun actually, even with the currents going, because all the wrecks are tangled in amongst each other. And of course, having dived in Bermuda for so long, with there's wrecks everywhere, you find little holes. And what do we do with little holes? Little pastures? We see if we can swim through them. But what's really nice here is there's loads of little holes between the wrecks where it creates nice little caverns, little swim through pastures for you to explore. And you're not disappointed when you move through them. One, you protect from the current. Two, you get a real cool look of the lights coming through of the entanglement of wreckage of the different ships. Because they've been sunk at different times, some are older, some are a bit newer, 
I mean, one the wreck was built in 1885, so you get a bit of history as well of the wrecks. And that's what I like, because they're all at different stages of decay, you get a real sense of real shipwrecks, even though they were artificially sunk. You can see all these happy, smiling coming through. As we move up in the shallow bit here, we're only about two meters, and you can see again, the current is flowing between these two shipwrecks. This time, a different angle. Look at the bubbles flying from Holly's regulator and my regulator. We're like, where's this current coming from now? And it just makes us laugh because you were kicking against it, we fought against it, a lot of the actual staff were like, nah, just ride with the current. But when we managed to fight through it, we can see some of the other staff from Sun Reef coming through the other way, catching up to go explore their end as well. This was a wicked day out, we were having so much fun. It was a thank you from the staff and management of Sun Reef, taking all the crew out for some fun diving, barbecuing the boat down at Morton Bay and Morton Island to say thank you for whale season. We just finished it, we had an epic time and we're getting ready for dive season, so it was a day out for all the staff to say thank you, which is not a bad way to spend a day, going around, exploring some wrecks, having barbecues on the boat and having fun. Now, if you look in the coral, you see loads of little cool anemone fish, juvenile fish, so it's always awesome to just have a look around and see what you can find by just taking that time, especially if you're free diving, you can drop down, have a look around as well. And we'll continue making our way back towards the deeper stern, around about 10 metres, to drop back round and then fight the current back to the boat. Now we were hoping we were going to make it back. And everyone gave it a good go, but only two people actually made it back against the current because they positioned themselves in a better position than everyone else. The rest, unfortunately, we all had the walk of shame along the beach, as you saw in the intro. You'll see Holly's face on the walk back to the beach. She doesn't like get beaten and she really pushed fighting to get back. Even the people on the boat, even the staff on the boat were all chanting, cheering her to try and make her back. I realised quite quickly I wasn't making it, so I took the walk of shame earlier. Holly's coming through saying, look at all the different life, look at everything around, but time to fight this current. We give it a good go, look how much Holly is kicking. Trying so hard, and but she gave it a good go. I was like, ah, it's not working for me. That was a ripping current. I tried so hard to come back to the boat, I could. Now we've got easier on the surface, because less current on the surface, but underwater. It was moving. You saw how much Holly was kicking, and she was going. Nowhere. Ooh. That's the Rex, Morton Bay. Hey. Oh, How would you feel? I'm tired. Smile. <laughs> Try two stamps. Try two. enjoyed this week's episode and we'll see you in the next one in next week where we're going to be diving i'm not too sure probably the prison wreck have fun guys <laughs>